I forgot to go to Kong College back at Crocodile Cauldron. So I did forget something after all. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. And I also think when I was doing the whole boyfriend, girlfriend, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong thing, I think I called them sisters too. I really am rusty. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. 30% already, wow. Maybe I'm not doing too bad. Anyway, funky flights. Now I actually have to use it. Wait, free? I thought you had to pay two coins each time you use it. I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you only have to pay for it once, and then it becomes free in each world you pay for it in after that. Next level, Barrel Bayou! The music. So calm. So relaxing. I could fall asleep while listening to it. Dang it, guys, you ruined the moments! Yeah. So yeah, the music in this game is really good in general. It's a very, very memorable soundtrack. Oh, by the way, that is a uh, rotation barrel. You can press right to move it clockwise, left to move it counterclockwise, and when the timer runs out, it automatically shoots. And <laughs> oh, poopers. <laughs> Oh well, one more time to that, I was just explaining the barrel. I have 54 lives, I'm sure I can spare a few for demonstration purposes. <laughs> and hey, Dixie, how's it going? And I'm going to be... Oh, here's a new enemy here, this is Cloak. It likes to throw stuff at you, as you can tell. It throws various things, and sometimes the things are pretty good, like ye old bananas there. I think it also... This, in this level in particular, wait a second, I remember something. Yeah, in this level in particular, there's one that throws a... Nice jumping PK game. <laughs> there's one that throws a treasure chest with a cannonball, if I remember correctly. Unless unless it's a later level that I'm thinking of, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Alright. This part has gone gotten off to a fantastic start. <laughs> There we go, yeah, Rambi's over here, and you want Rambi to help you out with certain stuff, and how, do, how are you able to touch that? Well, I suppose since it's like a ghostly critter, it doesn't have a body to be skewered by the zinger. <laughs> I would still think that's painful to some degree. Is that all you throw? You got anything else? What are you saying? <laughs> oh, whatever. Boop! <laughs> And what does that sound that, that some Kremlings say? That it sounds like bronze or something like that. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe it's special Kremlin language or something like that. By the way, if you didn't have Rambi there, obviously you wouldn't be able to get that coin up there, or at least without taking a hit. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey! You tried covering it up. How dare you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Time yourself well. Yeah. And you can also jump on uh, zingers with Rambi if I don't if I didn't show you that before. I don't remember if I did, but just to be sure, there you go. Uh oh. No. Oh, I think we get the Donkey Kong coin for that, really. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't remember that was the way that you got it. Okay, this is the one I think that throws the treasure chest with ye all cannonball inside it. Yes. Ha ha ha. I go back. Voila! Bonus time! It's a bonus time! Yeah! Uh, I got a time with moving critters. Well, only that one in the center. I think Dixie would be better for this one, in all honesty, but eh. Good timing wins out anyway. Yay! Oh, wait a second. Did I miss something? Oh, no, wait, that's where the arrow of bananas was, okay. I love the physics with these here, that you can actually control the outcome based on... Great. <laughs> based on your uh, trajectory when you... Like, if I'm, I'm pushing right through this whole segment here, and it's successfully working. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's just how it works. Oh, no, you don't. By the way, those yellow um, clobbers there, 
if, if you get hit by one, they knock bunches of bananas out of you, and I really want that coin for the heck of it. <laughs> Do you throw anything but barrels? So you throw a zinger. That's, I guess that's pretty special. Uh, that's really risky to get. <laughs> uh, uh oh. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> well, at least I hit the old checkpoint. And how far away am I from stuff? And I got that bonus, I know that for sure. Because, yeah, I was this cannonball guy here. So I can pretty much just run through the remainder of the level. Hopefully. <laughs> I noticed that there's a letter behind that one there, but eh, I'm not all that concerned about the letters. Whee! Yeah, Alright, it goes a lot faster when you're actually, uh, not looking for stuff, eh? <laughs> oh, jeez! That was close. Alright, carefully. Do not die to barrel. Oh, God! Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa! Can I get- yeah, I can get in there with Dixie. I will find that token, and I will do it swiftly, but carefully. <laughs> Gotta do it within 20 seconds. Must not miss shoot, otherwise time will be wasted. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Woo! And there we go. Um, wait, 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 what's this? I don't want to miss something here. I know I'm going to miss out on the goal there, but I just want to see if I missed anything. Oh, okay, that was the uh, bonus area there, and then that I can go like this. Oops! <laughs> I jumped the gun there. One second barrels. You got to be pretty quick with. All right, it's aim for the coin. There we go. Yeah! Oh yeah! And there's a fly bugging me here. <laughs> And that should be complete. Yes, I'm making sure things are complete this time. Exclamation point. Donkey Kong coin. Good. Next level, Glimmer's Galleon. Start! I almost misread that as Gallon, actually. Wait, what's up here? Ooh, bananas. Wait, that, did I just go in a bonus zone? <laughs> oh, I think I know which one this is. It's, it's a bonus zone that's much easier with Glimmer. Glimmer is a anglerfish, is an anglerfish, excuse me, that, uh, no wait, a anglerfish, that is grammatically correct, <laughs> that would light the area, and, well, I don't have them with me. <laughs> but I might not need it if I can go fast enough, I just heard the coin appear, oh, there it is. I guess I didn't need it after all. <laughs> Who needs an anglerfish? Alright, down I go, into the murky depths. Can I get those? I don't think I can get those, if I remember correctly. Can I kill you? No, I can't. <laughs> I just thought I would try that since the Donkey Kong barrel was right here. I figured you can't hit stuff underwater like that. But yeah, that was a uh, really slow underwater clomp for whatever reason. But yeah, here's Glimmer, and you can see it lights the way. I like that flash of the camera there, like it's pointing directly into the camera's face. I think that's a really nice touch. This game has a lot of nice touches in general. It's quite beautiful, too. Uh, oh, I need unguard for that, don't I? Hmm. I wonder. I don't remember unguard, unguard being in the stage, so maybe, maybe it's back in this. I'm just gonna check here for the fun of it, because why not? I, I have a a hunch that it's here, which is why I'm checking in. Wait, it's ser- I mean, it, what? Glimmer really didn't follow me here? What the poop? <laughs> I thought it followed me into bonus level, so I guess you really are supposed to do this in the dark. Hmm. Okay, what if I go, like, is there any way to go down here? Oh yeah, that's what it looks like if you beat a, a bonus game twice. You get a coin with a check mark, which means you've got it already and it doesn't count. But okay, I guess... Um, on guard isn't there. It's a pretty linear path altogether. Dang fly in my face. <laughs> Do not open windows with drain holes that bugs can get into. Alright, let's just get back on track here and explore the multi-path area. Uh, ooh, bananas down there. Maybe that's an indicator of where on guard might be. 
Because obviously I need on guard for uh, that that over there. Mm, I guess I just put those bananas inside the wall so that you can't like grab them, but they're there for detail, I suppose. Don't don't nibble on me! Dang it! <laughs> I knew it was coming, but yet I got greedy. To look around the walls. Arr. Wait, wait, what's this? I just see holes that look. I didn't know you were gonna turn around. <laughs> Some holes that looked like there was gonna be a path or something like that there. Eh. Well, I know that there is a bonus zone right up there, but I don't have the appropriate equipment to get in there, which is unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't really know. Dang it! <laughs> I just swam right into it, just by reflex. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Push into the wall somewhere. On guard must be hiding somewhere. <laughs> I believe that there is a fish in the sea. That is for me. And there's definitely a path through here, as indicated by the bananas. Um, those aren't worth it, are they? Oh, God. <laughs> you can kind of lead them... Uh, where you want them to go by standing in a place as they're chomping at you and what'll happen is that they'll go in the direction that you last were when they started chomping at you it's kind of a way to predict their movements like that one's gonna go down I'm gonna get this one to move down as well oh, I, I guess I can't do that <laughs> it wouldn't move down but yeah you see when it locked on to me it decided to go hey I'm gonna go in that direction so you can kind of lead them away from wherever you need them to be away from. By the way, that enemy there is a puff top. We already seen a version of them before that wasn't inflated, and uh, I didn't. I forgot to mention the name of them before. It was it was in a bonus zone. It was when I got hit by the odd hitbox of the uh, enemy while I was in it and whatnot. And yeah, that was a uh, version of the puff top. Dang it! <laughs> Must press myself next to the ceiling when Flot Sam is there. Or Float Sam, however it's pronounced. Yeah, darkness, you are my enemy. And I still do not have on guard. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter at, too badly at this point because if I were to um, have to restart the stage, wherever on guard is, is definitely, well, I shouldn't say definitely, it's probably around the first area, which would let me get inside that crate. Oh, gee, Shuri. Please do not get in my way. Are you hinting at something there? Float Sam, no, because you popped out of the crate and hmm. I gotta watch out for their trajectory of those spiky bone-like projectiles that pop out when they explode too. Uh, these versions of the Shuris, they shoot themselves at you. They're a lot like the Lockjaws in that you can lead them wherever you want them to if you know their timing and whatnot, like what causes them to move towards you and whatnot in in what direction oh geez that one's lateral <laughs> yeah there's ones that shoot diagonals and there's ones that shoot in straight lines then again then again diagonals are still straight lines so what am i saying <laughs> oh geez like north south east east and west versus northeast southeast you know those kinds of directions okay bite over here bite there you go <laughs> I don't know if that was something that I wanted to do, but yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of searching the edges here to see if there's anything interesting, I suppose. Eh. By the way, the level design in the Donkey Kong Country games are really good. They always give you a chance to see how the enemy is like before uh, you actually encounter a, a situation where you have to defeat the enemy, so to speak. So it's sort of a, a thing that um, they teach you as you go, or at least that's what it seems like to me based on the level design. Uh, oh, is that going to go? Yeah, I figured that would go like that because of the design of the area. So even the uh, area design sort of gives you predictive elements as to what the enemies are going to do. Because it's like... Like, you've seen that puffed up there. If you've never seen a puffed up before that point, you would be like, Oh my god, it looks like it's gonna pop because it's inflating and it's twitching and it is gonna pop and the, the projectiles come towards you in the directions that the lines are that you have to go and yeah, that's how you would predict this movement. And, oh, I heard the coin. I don't know where 
the coin is though, probably in the upper right corner, so I'm probably going in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I got plenty of time to do this, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yay! Still that other bonus area to get into though, back at the beginning, that's a mystery. If I would have lost that bonus area, that would have been like no consequences whatsoever, because the uh, it just pooped me out right where the uh, bonus area was anyway, so it's like, what's the point? They might as well just make me restart the thing until I get the coin. <laughs> I suppose some people don't care about the 100% uh, aspect of the, of the game, but, I, but I, I personally think that's a shame with some, some games, because you're missing out on the... Uh, the unique level design that's in hidden areas and whatnot. So I, I find that the uh, extra levels and the special level design associated with it are like a reward of sorts of 100%ing games because I like to see as much of a game has to offer as possible. Oh geez. <laughs> this is danger territory. <laughs> oh geez. That was scary. Okay, where are you gonna pop? Diagonal? What about you? Diagonal 2... Oh, wait, wait, I need... No, wait, I can't... I can't get that because you're gonna float up and you're gonna block me and I'm gonna die. Yeah, that one likes to float up by where that coin is and do that. <laughs> I remember that... that very vividly. Because it trapped me before. I kill you first. <laughs> I love this music, by the way, but we won't hear it in full until a later level because I'm going to save it to build suspense. Yeah! Oh yeah! Alright, wait, what? Well, why did... Maybe that... I mean, I got all the bonus levels, but why was there a banana indicating that I could break through ye old crate over there if if that wasn't a bonus level because I got all the bonus levels unless it just leads me into an area with the Donkey Kong coin well in any case I gotta go back in there maybe, maybe that banana over here isn't something that I can break into but it's an indication of something no I don't know because <laughs> I, I didn't see on guard anywhere in the level Oh, oh, oh! I found a hidden bonus area of sorts back at the first bonus area right at the start. But that, that, that said number two. Maybe there's other numbered bonus areas around here. Like maybe need to hug the walls to try and find holes or something like that in there. I don't know. Because usually when you see a numbered uh, bonus area like that. There's other ones nearby. Like maybe through here. Oh, there's three. Well, where was number one? Was it the, was it the bonus area then? Like maybe they're numbering the. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So wait, what? You can go. I wasn't able to do that before. I, Cause didn't I? Didn't I try climbing through? Oh no! Wait, I was able to do that. Do that before? Cause I would. I go like that. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, let's see what I got here. Yep, I got everything. Hmm. So you know what? Before I forget, let's check out all the places just to make sure that I don't forget anything. By the way, did you say anything different? I, I wasn't really paying attention in all honesty. Uh, oh, I guess he's hinting at the 100%ing dealio thing as well, maybe, like as a way to get it. Uh, I'm gonna go there last because I'd like to see what Cranky has to say at the Monkey Museum. <laughs> Free, please. Mm, yeah, I already got that. Oh, that's a much, much later level in this place. Mm, slime climb is a rather interesting level. 
but uh, I'll get into that later. Why? Uh, Kong College must save game before end parts. Uh, sure, why not? Save! Woo! And what else do you have to say here, just for the heck of it? Well, I don't think we've encountered any animal barrels yet, but it's basically, it controls just like if you're riding an animal. Except you don't lose the animal when you take a hit, you just lose one of your hits. And you gain hits with the Donkey Kong barrels, just as you would with Donkey Kong Diddy alone. Mm, yes, sir. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part.